He's a worm book. Mm -hmm. He's disguised. He is. It's like a flower. That's right. So this is The Little Worm Book by Janet and Alvin Albert. Worms. The common worm. All good worms have a beginning, a middle, and an end. C, A, B, and C. A beginning, a middle, and an end. Worms with two beginnings, a middle, and no end are apt to injure themselves. See, he has two heads and they want to go different directions. What was this again? So this is, he has two beginnings. It means he has two heads. Yeah. So each head wants to do its own thing. Oh. It's causing problems. And they have a middle though. They do have a middle. That connects them. And then so, I think they can break and they can go. Maybe. But I guess they'll get injured. Well, it's this one. Worms with two ends, a middle, and no beginning get bored. They Deaf worms are not common. What's this one? Those are deaf worms. So this guy's deaf. Yeah. And he can't hear. This guy's using this funnel to try to talk to him. What's this? Overweight worms are not common either. See, these worms are really big. Why? Kind of fat. What's uh, that's worm? not common. What's this? Shy worms are hardly ever to be seen at all. Okay, he's hiding away. Okay. Say, oh, oh, look at this. Those two birds are fighting over that one worm. Unless it, they can, sh I think they'll break it so they can eat. Maybe. They can share. Maybe, but the, either way, the worm's not very happy. Oh. Yeah. The birds are happy though. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> the life of the common worm Though it may appear carefree, it's not without its disadvantages. The growth of football as a popular sport has added greatly to the problems of being a worm. Yeah, look, he's like, oh no, and there's this ball coming at him. And I think the eyes kind of look like surprise or something. Probably. But I think they're surprised because they're fighting over this one guy. They shouldn't find their own worm. They shouldn't find their own worm. Mm-hmm. The intelligence of the common worm is low. Nevertheless, worms can learn to perform simple tricks and will, with the right sort of encouragement, fetch things. So these guys are performing tricks with olives, or peas, sorry. Mm, They're this, balancing peas on their head. This guy just bouncing them, but this guy's eating them too. He is, yeah. yeah. All right, in this one, he has a postage stamp. So, young worm fetching a postage stamp for its master. So he's been trained to pick up the postage stamp and bring it to his master. <laughs> you and your worm. It's a pedigree worm. So oh, he's a very perfect, a very good example of a worm. What's this? <laughs> it's a mongrel worm. Mongrel. So he's kind of the opposite of the pedig pedigree. So he's not a very good example. Of worm. Worms make good pets. A worm is more loyal than a snail, more fun than a slug, and less liable to run away than a ladybug. Look, or is it liable? Should I say? <laughs> Why is the line there? Yeah, because he's flying away. Points to look for when buying worms. What's this? This worm is squinting. Look at his eyes. What's this? This is not a worm. It is something else. What is that in here? It's something else. It's not a worm. What's that? These may well be inflatable worms. Inflatable worms? They're not real. So I think they'll just eat. Yeah. This worm has a hat on. <laughs> what is it? So this is an example of a suitable disguise for a young worm hunter. He's hiding inside the tree disguise. What's this? So let's read this part. When catching worms for yourself, the element of surprise is most important. Try not to let them know you're coming. 
This is an example of an unsuitable disguise. Unsuitable? Yes. What is it? Because the see the worms can say, oh no, and they're running away. Whereas he, he's more like stealth, he's more hiding. What's this? It's a big chicken outfit. That you <laughs> <have to run. laughs> it's a big chicken outfit. The feathers are falling off. Yeah. <laughs> the worms so are saying, cool. wow. Like, they don't really move very fast. They just, they just try to move around with their stupid hands. Here's an example of two different types of tracks to get them. This is. So this is the hollow apple trap. Hollow apple Yeah, so this guy's already fallen into the trap. And these guys are, oh, yum, yum. They want to eat the apple. So they go up <laughs> the stairs, to, and they're going to fall in here, too. Yeah, and yeah. what's this? And this, and this is the Brit Whistle Suction Trap. Brit Whistle Suction Trap. That it sucks all the worms out Yeah, the so you find like the wormholes where they're hiding in there, yeah. and there's this big suction machine and sucks them all out of there. How do you get them? How well, do you look get at them? It. It's showing how to get them. That's a little even the arrows demonstrating that they're being sucked out. How do you actually, uh, how do you actually get them out so you can keep them? It, it, there's a part, compartment in here that stores the worms that they sucked out. Oh. How do you get them? I don't know. I guess this is the best for shit trap. Maybe. This is a more, it's a simpler solution. And it seems to be working very well. Yeah. You just hollow out an apple and put a little stairs there. And it seems to work. Anyway, here's another example of a trap. Okay. So, here's a mirror. So the, uh, the worm likes to look at himself, but there's a secret pit underneath oh. and a concealed trap door. Oh. So this is the mirror decoy. And actually, I think this guy's also going to fall out there. Yes, he is. Just showing. See how sad that guy is. <laughs> he fell into I guess this guy is still happy up there. <laughs> he is, because he hasn't fallen in yet. Yeah. I guess it takes... So, one, two, three... Four. I think it's can store four. Yeah? yeah. I think you can store more, but yeah. But Once you have too many, then they can kind of escape. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And it is sometimes possible to ambush a worm. Traps can be can give good results. Nets are not recommended. The lasso should be used sparingly, if at all. So yeah, this is see how unhappy he is? Yeah. The lasso. He has a thing around his neck. That's not a good way for worms. Oh. To get. What if he, What if someone was there, like a thief that put that on the worm, and then someone else came and tried to give him food? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What will happen? Maybe. You, do you think you could eat the food? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think a thief will do that though. Why would a thief do that? <laughs> because he's bad guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pet worms need lots of attention. Appetizing food, comfortable quarters, and the right amount of exercise. So here's an example of not a very healthy food for the worm. So he's like, look. So he's using this glove to store worms in. This a converted love a converted glove makes a cozy worm home. Let's see. This is a kind of a weird one here. It says exercising the growing worm. But I don't know how he's getting a lot of exercise if he's just pulling him around on this cart. I think he's like exercising while okay. he's doing that. Alright. No. Okay. The worm, when properly cared for, can survive to an advanced age. Yeah, it's he's in, relaxing. He's in a hot tub. Yeah. yeah. A useful bed for sick worms. Yeah, so these guys are kind of sick, but we have a bed for them, so hopefully that will help them recover. I guess they're like, they're like different colors. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's to show they're sick. What do you think this one is? What type of sick do you think? I don't know. I'm not sure. What do, you, what do you think? This red one is definitely a fever, right? Okay. The red one's a fever, and I think this guy's, this guy's yellow, so I think he's... He also is about to get a fever here. Okay. And I think this purple guy, he just, 
his sick is like an uh, itchy throat or something. Okay, itchy throat. And, and what about green? I think, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's something got caught in his throat. <laughs> okay, so these guys both have throat issues here. Alright, <laughs> these guys are getting fevers. Okay, <laughs> sounds That's good. just what we think. think. you got it figured out? That's just what we think. To complete this chapter, here are the main health hazards of the worm with some suggested treatments. What's this? So this is a severe case of knots. Knots? So he got all, he's, he's a worm, so he's kind of like a string, right? Yeah. You can tie up a string in knots. Oh. Yeah, so that's what happened to him, which is very What's bad for him. What's this? Yeah. The little wonder worm collar prevents tail biting. So they have these for dogs. Yeah. So it like goes around their neck because the dogs that they have like um, uh, pro like an infection or some kind of a uh, injury. Yeah. And they try to go and bite it and stuff like that, and that makes it worse. So you don't yeah. want them to do that. So you put the collar around so they can't do that, and it's the same thing. So if he has an injury here and you don't want him to, to bite his tail, then you can use his collar. There's lumps. This guy has lumps on him. Lumps? Ooh, that doesn't look good. What's this? Well, it's electric shock or lightning. It kind of looks like that he's making <laughs> electric shock. It kind of does, yeah, like he's an electric eel or something like that. <laughs> I think what it's showing here, because it wants to show um, um, health hazards, that yeah. means the, the, the worm was electrocuted. Oh, okay. And he's yeah, not happy about it. What's this? So this is an example of how to catch a young worm for treatment. What's treatment? That means, oh no, this, this worm is sick, yeah. so I have to pick up the worm in order to bring him so I can treat him. So he's not sick anymore. Oh, so what's this? And that guy is a sunburn. Sunburn? <laughs> Why is his eyes closed? <laughs> I don't know, maybe he fell asleep in the sun. And then, oh no, look at his back's all red. He got a sunburn. <laughs> all the way up to the tail. Yeah. Okay, and here's some more. This guy has the trembles. Oh, what is Ooh, it? like he's shaking. Mm. Maybe he's what's, very cold or he's sick in some way. So what's this really long one? Well, that's, this um, here is explaining this guy. Yeah. This worm may have outgrown his strength. Oh. Means he's kind of too long and he doesn't have enough strength to really you know he's just too long oh okay but well, we'll go these guys this guy's a sore throat sore throat yeah what's this? this guy swallowed a key <laughs> by accident you see the key shape there why did he do it for accident well you, uh, yeah he shouldn't have swallowed that key that was a bad idea i think there was a page that do i think you can like make the the worm make it out mouth opens and he and he closes it again and someone gets a magnet and tries to pull it. Oh yeah, maybe <laughs> that would be a good treatment method. Yeah. Right. This guy is suffering from parasites, so he has little bugs on him. What are parasites? Bugs, parasites are little bugs that like um, live off the host is like. So in this case, this guy's the host, so he's like the big thing, and then you have little bugs that are on. And they're like eating his skin or you know, causing problems in some way. What's this? These delusions. Why? He thinks he's a French loaf. So he thinks he's French bread. <laughs> Did he just get Okay, and then here's another delusions. Thinks he's a pencil. Oh. What's this? And this is just depression. Oh. Oh, he's so sad. Look, it looks like a real bread when I just cover his face. Yeah, see that's why he thinks that way. <laughs> He's like, I look like a French loaf, so I guess I am a French loaf. Worms around the world. It is often said that worms in one country must, uh, must be much like those in another. But this is not so. What are these? So these, the wild worms of Pampas. What? What are there's some wild worms in Pampas. Are they bite you? Yeah, it looks like it. They got big teeth. <gasps> he's trying to eat dogs. Yeah, that's the Borneo dog worm. Dog worm? So he kind of thinks he's a worm. He even has a little dog house. And here's a Syrian big worm. That's a really big worm. That's 
Did you really know? Yeah, I guess so. He's got it. That's Look. A, that one has three heads. Why? Now it. When they. And they're, they're friends. I think they all want to go the same way. So I think they're okay with that. I guess so, yeah. Like we discussed in the first part of this book about how having two heads was kind of a bad thing. And this guy's three heads. I don't know. Is the guy at the very start can actually go wherever they, the, the place that the other world, the other head's going? I think they can be friends, right? It is the sales. Mm -hmm. Or is this guy also good? <laughs> yeah. yeah, as long as they get along and they want to go to the same place, then I think it should be fun. Okay, what's this? What's so these are all different examples of different worms. Green worm, hairy worm, pink, rainbow worm, spotty red worm, hairy blue worm, spiky green, green spike, yellow. Good. I think that is what they're called. Here's a, the fountain of worms. Look at this fountain with all these worms. They picked it on the fountain. What's this? In some parts of the world, the worm is treated as a sacred animal. Statues and fountains are put up in his honor. What is this phrase? In other parts of the world, the worm is treated as a sausage. Plates of worms are served with eggs, and the worm burger is a popular snack. Worms? They don't have heads in this. Yeah. <laughs> they used to like that. A short history of the worm. There have been worms on the earth, or rather in it, ever since time began. When dinosaurs were tramping noisily, pushing each other around, the worms were there, keeping well out of their way. Egyptian worms, sandworms, that is, observed the building of the pyramids. Worms in the pyramids? Mm hmm. They're hiding? Well, yeah, they were there when they were building the pyramids. Chinese worms followed the construction of the Great Wall of China from start this to finish. One? This one? Yeah, the Chinese worm. There was a Chinese? And? No, there was a there's a big great wall of China. There's a very big wall in China. Oh. So the worms were there when they started the wall and when they completed it many many years later. Okay. The worms were there watching. Sis. Roman worms were in Rome before even the first brick was laid. So even before they built Rome, the Roman worms were there. Oh. What's a Roman? Rome is another country. Or did they, like, build that? Yeah, so it's, it's still a city that exists today. All right. Worms were present at the battles of Hastings, Agricourt, Borodino, and Bull Run. Hastings, he's down there sleeping, and there's, like, war happening above. Here, Agricourt. What's going on here? There's another war happening, he's sleeping. Borodino. Here's Bull Run. He's still Not, sleeping. He's just hang, hanging out below ground while all this stuff's happening above. Yeah. Where is this? So, when man's explorations took him to new lands, the worms were there waiting for him. American Indian worms saw Columbus arrive. African worms watched David Livingstone complete his epic journey to the Victoria Falls. That's so these are African worms, and as I guess this is David Livingstone up there, and he's completing his epic journey. I think to this Victoria guy's Falls. a little bit yellow, so I think dirt just got on him, so he wants to wash it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's why he came to the waterfall to take the wash off. Worms of character. One, mountain rescue worm. In mountainous regions, local worms are sometimes called upon to rescue the foolhardy visitor. So here's a leaping worm. So he's jumping across. Can he make it? Do you think it's going to? I don't know. I guess he is going to make it because I... Or maybe this, because this next one is this guy is down here. So okay. maybe he's leaping across and he didn't make it and he fell, fell in here. And that's why these guys are coming to rescue him. Oh, no. But he's got a good jump there, so he looks like he's going to make Papa, it. Look, Papa, I'm going to do a little... I guess he is going to make it. Okay. 
Because we'll see. Okay, so this is worms to the rescue. See all these worms? Like this guy's in need. He's down. He's fell down his hole. Okay, and these guys are gonna all go out there and like like make this big rope to come and go get him. I don't know. I think that guy is saying, "Oh no!" because he's almost about to fall in, but I think he's fine. Okay. I don't know. All right. I think I think this guy's gonna jump over here and then just jump over here unless he falls down to the him. and then he goes this way and it goes to the other page. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Two. The Bird Tram Worm Circus. There is him. Oh, that's the same guy from before? The Leaping Worm? Oh, so he was going there and he joined the circus. And now he's part of the Bird Tram Worm Circus. What is this? I don't know. Neither is doing tricks. This circus tours three continents and is the... The only one of its kind in the world. Look at this. This guy. Yeah, so he's a strong worm. He's lifting weights. What's this? This what guy has it? lots of tattoos, so he's showing them off. What's this guy? <laughs> this guy's in the cannon. He's going to shoot out. <laughs> What's this guy with spikes? Yeah, I'm not sure what his deal is. It's like Indian Chief or something. What is this? Yeah, so this guy climbs up the ladder and jumps off into the bucket. I don't know, is there any water or something in there? Yeah. Okay. But it's amazing because he's going to jump from a really high height and go into a small bucket. And he's going to be okay. And then look at this one. Yeah. Is it? So this guy's here throwing knives at this guy. Why? Why? Because it's a trick. So he doesn't hit him, hit, actually hit him. It just he goes around him. But it's very dangerous to throw knives at people. And they just... Like, they just like to kind of try to protect it. I think this one's going to go down, like, really close to his tail. Maybe. And I think it's going to, like, support him or something. <laughs> Look, what's he doing? Yeah, he's like a, like one of those snake charmer things. He's pretending to be a snake? Yeah, I think so. He's breathing fire. He's breathing fire. And look at this guy. And he's just floating out. Mm-hmm. He's floating out of the circus. I think he's parachuting down. Maybe. I don't know. I think he's going to float. <laughs> Three. Float. Clockwork runs and other oddities. Clockwork. Okay. So he's like has a machine inside of him so he can wind him up. Oh, what's this? It's a Frankenstein worm. Ghost worm. Ooh, I think ghost this worm. looks like disguised or something. No, he's just a square worm. Is and there's a worm here, but you can't see him because he's an invisible worm. Invisible worm? He's not there. He's invisible. I think they just got a pen that can't write any color in it. And they like, drilled what he looks like in Yeah, probably. Of the book. And they used other colors for these other guys. Mm -hmm. I guess you can still see the worm, the ghost worm. I can't it's a fireman's worm. Um, yeah. He's got the hat and everything and he shoots water out of his mouth so he can put out fires. Worms in wartime. Four worms in wartime. Yeah. During the final stages of World War II, special teams of worms were trained to carry secret messages behind enemy lines. What is this? So it's a, a box arrives, and then it, as long as it goes in the right hands, all the worms come out and form a message. What is it? It says, run for it, in this case. But they could, they could be trained to different, do different types of messages. <laughs> Look at that guy do, just do the O, and this guy do the R with another one. And then, and he just does the L there, and then there's a T. Awesome. I at yeah. I? I? Oh, so it's I. Worms to come. The future of the worm can only be guessed at. Already worms of exceptional character and intelligence have begun to emerge. Okay, so here... Okay, so we'll start here. So this is, look at like a bird trying to get the worm. But the worm attacks the bird. And this, same thing with the fish. So the worm 
is, is wrapping around the fish and not being eaten by the fish. Look. And getting stronger. Like okay, here, I get, oh, so the bird's confused because the worm is being disguised. Wait, it, but it doesn't have these here. It doesn't, so he's kind of confused. Why is like, it? It looks like a flower, but it's missing some leaves. And, and is this green, is this actually his head was colored pink and he had no face and then this was colored green and they put a cardboard leaves here. I think it'll look like a plant. plant. Yeah, those are good suggestions. And he doesn't have a head to him, right? But still, even though he doesn't have that, it still seems to be working pretty good. Look, Papa. Look, this guy made it. What if it goes around and goes this way? Mm -hmm. What if he goes... still make it, but that's not the most efficient route. I guess he more likes this route. See so this is, this is documenting a worm intelligence experiment. What is this So in these three, in? these... Uh, Where's this guy going to go? So there's four worms here. Okay, and they had three different results. So this guy didn't even enter the maze. He just went over here. He went, so this, this example is backward. So he just went backward. He didn't even, basically wasn't able to do it. And then these two guys, they, they're, that's pretty much normal behavior. They crawl in, but they weren't able to find a way out. And then this guy's intelligence was exceptional because he went boom, boom. Not only did he find a way out, he found the most efficient route to get out. What if, what if a, a snake, a, a worm, went, looks this way and then he went this way and then this way? Maybe. <laughs> he's doing it backwards. Yeah, he's doing backwards. Maybe this backward worm is going to come around here and go around there. Really? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I, know. I think this guy's going to go down there and say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the worm that catch the fish here, the human, so surprised because he didn't get eaten. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure he's very surprised. I guess because you have a human holding this like fishing, and then like the worm is doing crazy stuff. And then the the human can just get the worm out. And yeah, you can keep reusing the worm and then if you wanted to. What if there was? What if he caught a shark with it? Ooh, <laughs> shark. Then he will like, he like, then the worm will be able to grab him. I think he'll just get eaten and the human gets the shark. A <laughs> <laughs> great white shark. Well, now you can read it. The worms were here before us. Perhaps when we are gone, they will be here still. Lords of the earth. What? They're there the forever? End. And I don't know why they're in a car here driving off into the sunset, but... <laughs> <laughs> Look at... It's that guy with a sore throat again. Yeah, it's a sore throat fat. Very good. And what, the guy at the first is disguised. Mm -hmm. and why do he have like that wrap around him? Because it's a bandages. Bandages? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Because he's hurt. So that's going to help him recover. I have like... So what do you think of that book? Good. I have Did you like, learn a lot about worms? 